All right, so I recently picked up this 130 piece uh, tool kit from Harbor Freight. Needed a cheap beater tool set that had a little bit more than what I already had. And plus uh, I was, you know, holding everything in a small tool bag and I just figured that with a 20% off coupon, I could get one of these for right around 35 bucks and uh, be happy with it. I think I paid a little bit less than that. Don't really remember offhand. But uh, anyways, so we can go ahead and read this off real fast. You get a ratchet and socket set, three eighths inch drive ratchet and 42 sockets, six screwdrivers and four precision screwdrivers, one bit driver with 40 bits, wrench set with 10 combination wrenches, and one adjustable wrench, 16 hex keys, four pairs of pliers, hammer, measuring tape, and hardware kit. Also has Harbor Freight's lifetime warranty, which is pretty nice. Um, one thing that I will say about this kit right off the bat is for 40 bucks, the most you can pay for one of these, it is a damn good deal. Um, the bang for the buck factor on, uh, on this tool set is probably one of the better tool sets you can buy for that amount of money that comes with all of this stuff that you may need. Now, some tool sets I've seen, not just at Harbor Freight, but at Lowe's, Home Depot, Sears, wherever, uh, $40 generally will just get you a ratchet set and maybe a bit driver and some bits. You don't really get all this other stuff with it, and if you do, it'll be less bits, less sockets, but you might get a couple screwdrivers and two pairs of pliers. It really kind of depends. So this case has a lot going for it in that regard. Now I will show you guys what it will come with here and you guys can pause this video right here if you want just to read this because I'm not gonna go over every single piece in this thing piece by piece and let you guys see it. This is just general uh, general overview what I think of this kit. One thing I would like to add too is I've already used this thing a few times both for automotive use and for stuff around the house. I used it to uh, put in a new dishwasher at my girlfriend's place. I used it to uh, do some other smaller things around her house. I've used it for my car when I've needed to, you know, check something really quick or pull a part off. It's actually really kind of kind of handy. First, let's look at the case. So with the case, you have two latches. The case in and of itself is pretty cheap. It's just a you know standard blow molded case. There's really nothing special about it. Unfortunately with these, you do kind of lose, I mean, not just with the uh, latches here, but you do kind of lose their effectiveness over time. The more and more you use them and open the case up, made in Taiwan. Um, so that's kind of one of the unfortunate things about these style of cases. I've also seen them too, where these will just flat rip off of other cases that had the same kind of setup. But it's got a plastic handle. It doesn't seem to be flimsy as the case, as far as the case is concerned. But this is another issue that these cases have. They like to drop the tools out. Ergo, why I've left this piece of foam in here, and I could probably get a better piece um, to kind of hold everything in place, but you get everything rattling around, especially if you have it in uh, the back of a car, a trunk, and you're going over bumps, and it's not really in the best place. The tools jostle around. That's one of the features that I don't like about these kinds of cases. Um, over time, they just typically don't hold the tools very well. I've already had some of these kind of fall out really easily, but then I've had other ones like this one, which require a lot more force to pull it out of this tab. So that's kind of annoying. But bear in mind, um, those of you that are watching this video, I am not complaining about this tool set in any way, shape, or form. Again, I think it is a damn good deal for what you get, even with its small amount of, uh, you know, quirks, I guess you could say. But I do like to show my viewers, um, you know, the goods and bads about something because everybody's got the right to know before they make any sort of purchase. So that is one of the main um, annoyances that I've found with this, um, is that the tools just 
kind of like to fall out. Uh, some of them, like I believe it's this one. Yeah, this one doesn't require that much force. This one requires a little bit more. Um, you know, it's blow molded plastic. You, you, you kind of get what you get. But we can start with the screwdrivers, pretty decent quality. They appear to be more or less the same screwdrivers that Harbor Freight always gives out or, you know, has coupons on. They look very similar. This is a, part of a $3 screwdriver set. You can get them with the coupons for free. And the only difference here is the handle. And I think that there's two versions of this screwdriver, and I think the other one has this style of handle. But we can see both of the uh, both of the screwdriver heads look the same. Not really any sort of difference there. They're even the same length. So that's another thing to kind of keep in mind. Um, you could definitely buy all these tools separate at Harbor Freight, but you will be spending more than $40. That's just kind of the nature of things. So they give you a nice pair of locking pliers, which I've already used these. Um, again, quality for $40 isn't exactly outstanding, but it gets the jobs done around the house. But you can kind of see where corners have been cut. We can look at a better pair of these even. This is a Lowe's Cobalt. The quality of the fit and finish is much better. But again, these are better tools at a better, at a higher price point. So there's definitely a difference between the two. But you guys can see it's both of the jaws there are a uh, little, <clears throat> little off. Uh, move on to the pliers. I've already used all three of these actually, and uh, they're not bad. Haven't really had any issues with them. Um, the ends of the jaws are serrated, which is nice. Sometimes the cheaper uh, needle nose pliers or pliers in general, just they don't have that as a feature and it's just flat. So you can't really grip on anything. But here we have a duck bill or small linesman's pliers, however you wanna call them. Um, they also have the same feature, so that's good. We have our diagonal cutters, which a pair of these always comes in handy. And really, it's really hard to mess up on one of these, to be honest. Um, the blades are nice and sharp. I haven't really had any issue trying to cut any wires or anything with them. And then you guys saw me playing with this one earlier. I've already used this, actually, pretty happy with it. Nice and small. Some uh, adjustable wrenches are just so big that you can't really fit them where you need to fit them. Um, now we have our hex keys, pretty standard. These are included in really just about every single cheap tool set you can buy anywhere. They're all about the same quality. And, you know, if you need one, you need one. You don't really use these all that much. Um, you're not gonna really be putting a whole lot of torque on them in the majority of the cases. So they can skimp a little bit on quality on these and be okay. One, one thing that I do find that is really nice is they separated the SAE, which is chrome, versus the metric, which is black. Now on some cheaper tool sets, they'll include both of these, but they'll both be the same color. There's no way to differentiate them if you get them mixed up or they, you know, get all jostled about in the toolbox. And, uh, you know, you're kind of screwed when you need something that's metric and it turns out to be standard. Um, so that's really nice that they added that as a feature. Now we have our bits. I'm not going to pull all these out, but you guys can just see they include some square bits. Um, starred Phillips. I forget the name of these offhand. Um, regular flatheads, quarter inch drive, 
hex keys, more hex keys. They give you a whole plethora of number two Phillips bits. Um, Harbor Freight's bits, their cheaper ones, definitely aren't the best quality. Uh, they're, they're definitely cheap. You can buy a whole bunch of them and probably be okay, but you're going to be go, going through them really fast. And I guess when they designed this uh, toolbox, they decided for that reason, I would assume, to put in a bunch of Phillips number two bits because maybe they know that they're not the best quality. And that's really the bit that most people are going to be grabbing when they need one. But they also include your star bits here. And then the precision screwdrivers, as mentioned on the outside of the case. These are just the cheap ones you can find in just about any um, any dime store, convenience store. You can normally find these. Um, here's the bit holder, which I've used in my drill already. And that's all of these tools here at the top. Now let's get to the bottom. Start with the hammer. I've already used this a few times. It's actually kind of nice because, you know, it's not a huge hammer. Um, it's, you know, for what you're going to use it for, putting in small nails for hanging up a picture frame or, you know, knocking something out or pulling a nail out of the wall. This is more than that adequate for what you're going to need. So I have no issues there. And now we have our teardrop style. Uh, ratchet, which is amazingly one of the better quality pieces of this box. Um, normally on these cheaper sets, you get a really cheap ratchet. Um, it'll be the same style. In fact, I believe I have a couple. I'll show you guys two. These are normally included in cheaper tool sets. Um, this one, I'm not sure what kind of set it came out of, but the metallurgy is very similar to what I'm going to be talking about. It's not finished all that well. There's uh, you know, it just doesn't look polished. This one's probably a better representation of the cheapo, of the cheap ratchets that you get in the tool sets. And you can definitely see the difference. First off, the drive selector is metal on the Harbor Freight, not the no-name, it's plastic. Now, I have used this thing a few times and haven't really had any issues with it, but you can see there is a huge difference in the quality of the metal. This one looks like it's a lot cheaper made, and generally, if you've been around a lot of these ratchets and compared them to higher quality ones, especially working with them, you know the difference. I've had these cheap no-name ratchets where the tops of the head has broken off. They just weren't made all that well, I guess, or the gearing inside breaks. Um, a lot of the time, you, you kind of don't really know what you're going to get as far as longevity is concerned, and that might be the case with this one too, but right out of the box, it looks like it's way better quality than this one. So it's got that going for it. Another thing that I noticed is the extensions that they give you are all finished the same. On a lot of these cheaper sets, again, you get extensions that they did not finish the metal all that well. But that even went down to the sockets. Um, I've seen really cheap sockets where they look like they're just made out of stamped sheet metal. And you guys probably know the ones that I'm talking about. But all of these, the finish on them is really nice. They don't mirror the uh, cheaper Harbor Freight sockets that you can find in the store. They sell another uh, socket set, which I did a video on. Um, that one is in the description box if you care to watch it. And you can compare the sockets in that set to this one, and there is a world of a difference. The ones in that set look like they're stamped. They'll, they'll get you through a bind if you need it, but I don't think that they'll be able to hold up to a whole lot of torque. And I've definitely broken a few of those on other sets. They also include a cheap measuring tape, which has an all-plastic body. 
a clip, which if you try to use this too many times, it might just break off at the end of it. Um, again, they do include that lifetime warranty, which I believe probably includes everything in here except for what's in here. The tape itself isn't too bad. You know, if you need one of these real fast, and this set's not really meant to be used, you know, every day, all day. Um, so when you need a uh, measuring tape, you've got one to use. And, you know, if you need it, you need it. Now we'll move on to the wrenches. These wrenches are very similar to the cheaper sets of wrenches that they already sell in store. Um, they don't look all that good, but they are surprisingly really good for the, for the money. Um, the set that I had, I had for about five or six years and I just recently retired them and uh, stuck them in another tool set that I had given to somebody else. And I beat the crap out of those wrenches, and I did not break one of them. So I was definitely happy with the performance of those. Hopefully the performance of these would be about the same. Um, but they include 3 8 all the way up to 5 8 Then they have your 10 They, of course, skip 13, it looks like, which is pretty standard. Um, but then you get 14 and 15. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, those of you that are looking at buying one of these, I really recommend it. Um, I think for the money, for 40 bucks, uh, less with a coupon, or if they have a parking lot sale, I've seen them all the way down to $30. And definitely for $30, they are well worth that cost. Um, you get a lot for the money, the tools themselves. I mean, even the lowest quality tools really aren't that bad. And they make up for it by giving you a whole bunch of them in that case. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, I hope you guys like this video and stay tuned for more. I am trying to get some more tool reviews put out. And this is a great tool set to just throw on the back of your car. And if somebody happens to break in and steals it, or you lose it, or whatever, you're not really out a whole lot of money. But you have most of the tools that you're going to need in a bind. So stay tuned for more.